Hello, welcome back to the Tyson Tidbit series. Today we're going to check how to deploy your Tyson app on a device. So the first thing that we have to do with our watch is to make certain that it is connected to the same Wi-Fi network that our computer. To make certain of that, we can drag down from the top of the screen to get to the settings. And then here we can move to look for connections. And we have to enable the Bluetooth and the Wi-Fi. So let's go and do that. Make certain now Bluetooth is connected. Go back. And now let's do the same thing with Wi-Fi. Then in this case, I'll have it off. So let's put it at always on. Say yes. And then this case is scanning. It's going to find an IP address. It's telling us that it's connected. And this is something good that is going to be really important. You can touch the uh, information about your uh, network. And we're going to need this IP address that is going to be here. Because this is something that we're going to need later to be able to uh, know which device we are connecting. So we please write that down and, and we will use it later. Finally, we have to make certain that our device is in debug mode. So uh, let's go back to our settings. Um, here, and then we are going to go down to look for uh, about about watch here. And then here, we're going to go down all the way to debugging. So in this case, of course, I had an, an on, but well, obviously you can turn it back on. So these are the things that we have to make certain that our device is ready to go. So when we are done with that, so number one, the uh, Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. Second, that the Wi-Fi is connected to the same network as our computer. And third, that the debug mode is going to be on. And I hope that you also wrote down the, the IP that we obtained when we connected to the network because we're going to uh, uh, use that. Now that we know that our device is connected to the same network, what we can do is to go to Tools in Tyson Studio and go for the Device Manager. The device manager, what we're going to be able to do is to connect uh, our computer to the device. So the first thing that we have to do is to click in this icon that is to uh, manage our remote device. Says. In this case, I have already connected it before, so I'm just going to delete this. I'm going to do it from zero. And we're going to name our device, whatever you guys want. So I'm going to say test one. And this is where we're going to use the IP address that we obtained when we connected our wearable device to our network. So in this case, I'm going to use this one. But obviously, that is going to change depending on your own network. Just leave the port that is there by default and say add. Now that we added our device to the list of the managed devices, we just can have to say on. And we're going to start seeing the logs of the information that is being sent between our device and the computer. So we just can close here. If you are interested at any given time, you just can check the logs down here. But now we can go back to Tyson Studio. So in Tyson Studio, we're going to need, obviously, an application that we're going to deploy on our device. So I just created that small application uh, that, that is a template. So it's a mini gallery. I added an icon that is quite visible so we can uh, see it on the list of our devices when we are able to deploy it. Now, the second thing that we have to do at this point is to uh, sign our application. To do that, we're going to need the certificate manager that we're going to open over here.
and in this case I already have an existing certificate. So usually to do this, what we would have to do is to create a new certificate, uh, try to use your Samsung account, so that way uh, is going to uh, help you. So well, in this case, I'm just going to say mobile wearable device is going to create a new uh, certificate. You can give it a new name. So I'm going to say test uh, whatever. I don't know. And uh, is going to create a new certificate and is going to ask you to uh, uh, enter your uh, author name, password, etc, etc. This is going to be, if it's a Samsung certificate, this is going to be your Samsung account password. So it's going to try to log in. So I'm not going to do it, so we don't waste so much time connecting, but it should create one certificate here on the list. You have to uh, pick the one that you just created. In this case, I already have a Samsung Tyson developer uh, certificate and I can close it. So just to make certain that we have what we need. And after that, since we are already connected to our device here in this drop down list where we can decide where we're going to deploy our application, we should see something that says device. In this case, you can even see the IP address that we had uh, for our device. So that's the one that you have to, to pick. By default, uh, when you connect your device, it's going to be picked there, but we have to make certain that is going to be there. At that point, what we should do is to right click on our project and say that we're going to run us, or well, you can do it here on the menu, a Tyson web application. With this, since you already uh, selected the target for our deployment that is going to be the device, is going to start sending via the network your application to your device and then you're going to uh, uh, be able to play with it. So I'm going to do that and I'm going to pause because it takes a few seconds. So I'm going to jump directly into the uh, application being deployed in our device. I'm going to see that here. It's launching the Mina Gallery and it's going to tell you the percentage. When Tyson Studio finally sends the entire application to your device, you should be able to see it in the list of your recent applications. So in this case is this T2, the Mini Gallery. And this is a small application that pretty much just shows uh, images that you have in your in, in your device, which apparently had only two screenshots. Okay, well, so that 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 that's what it does. It doesn't really show us a lot uh, there. So well, screenshots, images. So it's it's a small uh, template, but pretty much you can deploy obviously anything that that you want, and, and that's it. After you're done testing uh, your application on your device, you can just can turn it off on the device manager. But uh, the device information is going to be saved in the list of uh, managed devices. So next time that you need to connect, you just have to make certain that the device is connected to the same network, is close to your computer, and then you just have to turn it back on. And then that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, this new video for the Tyson Tidbit series. Uh, I think this is quite useful, especially when you are going to try to uh, test using your own devices. And uh, I do hope that you continue uh, checking the rest of the videos of the series. And we will uh, now try to focus a little bit on .NET. So uh, we will see when we can come up with those videos. So let me know what you guys think about the video, about the content, and any other topics that you would like to discuss. So have a great day.